Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness comes out today, featuring an ascendant Wanda who we last saw in WandaVision claiming the mantle of the Scarlet Witch. To celebrate, I am painting the Scarlet Witch model from the game Marvel Crisis Protocol, which will be my first venture into the game. The model is based on Wanda's comic book appearance. I'm a Sokovian fortune teller. And she will definitely not be the last MCP model that I paint. Let's get into it. Assembly was a breeze, with the parts clipping off easily and slotting together perfectly with a little plastic glue. I kept Wanda separate from her base for ease of painting and so that I could prime the parts different colours. For Wanda herself, uh, I started with a black spray and then did a white spray from above, mostly to help me with where to put highlights and visibility of the details, rather than any kind of plan to do a xenophil prime, and for the magic I went with a white spray. A lot of the colours on the box scheme for this model are very similar, and while she looks great when expertly painted, for my more modest talents I felt like I needed to add a bit of variation, so I picked a couple of different reds plus pink for Wanda. For her boots, gloves, tiara and corset I started with a solid base coat of Mephiston Red, for her cloak I used a darker corn red, and then for the pink parts I used Emperor's Children. I used Cadian Flesh Tone to paint her face and Mournfang Brown for her hair. Over on the magical part, I followed the guide from my Night Haunt video on how to paint their magic green. I know that canonically this magic is red, she is the Scarlet Witch after all, but I was in search of some additional contrast, so I hope that no one minds. Wanda has done worse things after all. The first step for the magic is to paint all over with Hex Wraith Flame technical paint. When this is dry, I used Ulthwine Grey to highlight the flames and create interesting variation. Once this is dry, I go over it with Lamentus Yellow or another glaze to bring more depth and colour to the magic. Back over to Wanda, I put some paint on my palette to get an idea for how to approach her pink cloth. Unlike most Warhound models, the depth on her is actually quite subtle, with most clothing being pretty flat, so we need to add our own areas of shadow and highlight. With a rough transition worked out on the palette, I started by highlighting with the base coat mixed with Pink Horror, then just Pink Horror and then finally Pink Horror mixed in with some bone. For each step I painted this into a smaller area towards the top of the cloth and anywhere where light would fall. Finally, I thinned down some Vulpus Pink contrast paint and I painted the bottom or edge of the pink cloth where it meets the red and then used a clean brush to feather this out to add some subtle shading to the pink. For the red areas, I shaded both kinds of red with Caraberg Crimson. Once this was dry, for the brighter areas, I used Mephiston Red and then Evil Sun Scarlet to highlight. On the darker red, I used corn red again in several thin layers, building up to a nice highlight. And I mixed in some bone to finish off the dark cloak. Finally, for her skin and hair, I highlighted the skin with Kislev Flesh, and then I used Gilliman Flesh Contrast thinned way down to bring her colour together a bit. And 
And then for her hair, I used a brown shade, re-highlighted with the base color, and then I added a touch of bone to the Mornfang Brown for a highlight. Once she stuck to her base, I quickly painted the base with grey and then dry brushed it first with light grey and then bone. You can notice a theme for doing quick highlights here, just add bone to your base colour. And then Wanda is complete, ready to probably save the world. I mean, nothing's happened to her recently that means she might be acting different, right? You didn't see that coming. Thanks for choosing me to be your mom. So darling. She'll uh, probably be fine. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found some of the techniques useful to get your wonder onto the table quickly. I really love Marvel, especially the movies, so I hope to paint up some more Crisis Protocol models soon. Please let me know who your favorite Avenger or Marvel hero is uh, and subscribe to see more videos. Thanks. What is grief, if not love persevering?